My arm's fucking killing me. Ah, ah, ah. Now I done my shift, you have to do yours. We'll get a drop soon. <laughs> Lovely jubbly. B bless you, sir. Bless you. Don't you think there should be more to life than just turning this handle and eating fucking moulded bread? My dad turned this handle and lived off moulded bread his whole life and it done him no trouble. It, it, it sounds like they're all having a laugh out there. The people are allowed to have a laugh, mate. Uh, I, I just remember there being more than just a box. Jesus Christ, mate. You're such a Debbie Downer. You're allowed to have a bit of fun, fuck's sake. But we watch these Jim Davidson specials again. Well, how come all those people don't have to live inside the box? Well, because, mate, we need them to look after us. We need them to look after the box. They'll always keep us safe. Sure it was them that lit that fire for us to keep us warm? I don't feel safe. You don't feel safe? I think you need to turn the handle more, mate. I think you're paranoid. I'm paranoid. You're the one that cut that rope someone threw down the other week and bashed that fella's head in that came down to help well, us. Well, what? You didn't trust him, did you? Do you know how many people die each year from ropes? Fucking communist. Besides, they already let us know who the real enemy is. People coming over to our fucking box, our fucking box, eating our fucking moulded bread. I tell him. I says, why don't you fuck off back to your own fucking box? But the people in control of our box bear responsibility for the other boxes too. The fact those people's boxes are destroyed, force them to seek refuge in ours. Don't the overlords have to take some blame for look, that? Look, mate, look. You keep letting ropes down here, all of a sudden, there's not going to be enough room in the box for any well, of us. Why don't we get out of the box? Why don't you shut your fucking mouth, you fucking snowflake cunt? <laughs> Show you the life